What's up guys? So I know it's been a while, but I am back with two new serum uh, sound designs for you guys. Um, we're going to be going with a heavy hard trap style uh, design here. So let's get straight into it. All right. So right here, I have uh, the the hard trap synth, that big, you know, roomy, spacious sound. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it just alone, and I'm gonna play it together with uh, with everything that I got. So this is how it this is how it sounds alone. And then this is how it sounds uh, with everything together. That's filthy. That's filthy. And the second sound design, which is actually a really, really simple one. They're both pretty. They're both fairly simple. Um, well, this one's is this one. I could say it's a little bit, little bit complicated, but not compared to some other crazy dubstep sound designs. Um, anyways, the second one is a lot more simple. It's just that heavy, gritty, fat, nasty sub. Um, this is how it sounds. Um, put it on here. This is how it sounds with again alone. Oh shit, let me drop that. And then this is how it sounds. Oh yeah, and by the way, there is a lot of pitch modulating going on. So it doesn't just sound like that. That's how it sounds just straight from Serum. Let's make this sound for you hard trappers. Um, you're gonna wanna start fresh uh, Serum, fresh Serum table, whatever the fuck it's called. Um, let's start with oscillator A. You're gonna wanna turn on oscillator A. I'm um, gonna go to MB analog, MB saw. Then you're gonna bring the octave down to uh, minus four. Your unison smashed out all the way up to 15. And then uh, your wavetable positioning. Ugh, your wave, oh. Your wavetable, did I just change that accidentally? My bad. Sorry. I was being stupid. All right, your wave tilt position all the way to the max. Um, we'll get into the uh, we'll get into the uh, what do you call it? Uh, the modulations in, in a bit. I want to cover like the the base of everything first. And then uh, your warp. You want to go down FM from B, meaning again I've said this in my other tutorials, meaning that uh, B is going to be passing through A. Um, you don't put this at 30% warp, and then your level at zero, and then important RAD your phase 100, yeah phase 180. Yeah, I left that. Normally, normally I change that. That's why I was, I was like, what? But uh, normally I'll put it at zero, but I left it full. I'm not gonna change that. Um, and then here, oscillator B. Do not change anything. Leave it in that triangle waveform thing. Don't change a single thing. All you want to do, wait, yeah, your uh, wave table positioning at one, your level at zero, leave this off, everything the way it is, just get that unison and throw it all the way up to 15, and on that part, you're done. Um, bear with me, you guys are probably listening to this right now, and it probably sounds like garbage, just give it a second. Now you're going to want to make this triangle thing, fucking make it a little bit more round, Normally it starts out something like this, something like that. Yeah, just make it a little bit fatter. Just make it a little bit more round. And then you're gonna wanna leave it on trigger and one fourth. Uh, from there, you're gonna uh, drag your LFO and place it into these positions. So your wave table, drag, wave table position. You're gonna wanna put that on 40 or minus 46 from the position it's in. I'm gonna drag it on back, minus 46 is where I had it. And then over here, drag your LFO here. And then you're gonna wanna put that on uh, 18, positive 18, not minus 18. And then same thing on your level, all the way 100%. And then on oscillator B, there's nothing. And then next step you're gonna do is turn on your filter. Turn on that filter and go to normal, notch 24. Uh, make sure it's on oscillator A. And 
And make sure whatever the fuck this thing is on. I forgot what that does. Oh, pff, I'm stupid. Noise. <laughs> Noise. Um, <laughs> guys, it's been a while. It's been a while, all right? Um, normally, I, I process all these things in my head, and I don't say them out loud. Um, anyways, you're going to want to get your cutoff and put your cutoff on uh, 941 hertz. Your resonance on 13%. And your driving fat is at zero. If you guys want to change anything, it's all up to you. It's your sound design. I'm just giving you a little help right here for the for uh, you hard trappers that want to make hard trap. And then your mix, you want to put that at 100 and modulate backwards 11. Um, yeah, I already explained that, yeah. LFO, I, I covered that, right? Yeah, I covered cu cutoff minus 29. Uh, resonance, no cutoff, the mix, minus 11, right? Minus 11, yeah. Okay, I was just being sure, because fuck, I don't want to record all this and then not uh, include that. Now, uh, an important thing, uh, the attack, I have that on 60, and everything else is the same. I just, it, if you leave it on zero, I think it gives it like a clickiness. Yeah, there's a slight, there's like a slight, like a click to it. I know my subs, I always do this, because if not, I, just it's just a, a small thing. Anyways, um, want to come over to the noise, you want to turn on your uh, noise, what is that, noise oscillator, it's called, and then go to bright white, it's an analog, bright white, then uh, everything basically stays the same, you bring the level down to zero, uh, from the first LFO, modulate uh, 50. I'm making sure I got everything. Yeah. So we're done in the front or in the oscillator section. And then we're going to jump over to our effects. Now, uh, this hyper dimension is actually going to bring a lot of uh, uh, space and make it really big. If you take it off, it sounds actually. It, it, it kind of gives it like this background. Almost like if everything you had was doubled and almost delayed. It, it's, it's, it's weird. But, anyways. To get this exact sound that I have, you don't want to throw on the hyper dimension. Make sure your rate is on 57%, your detune is at 54%, unison on 4, I think that's how it comes. Uh, mix 17, your size. Normally, normally the size is like people have it down like low, like 1%, 2%, 3%. Um, we're actually leaving this at, it was at 50%, and your mix is going to be at 61%. You guys can play with that, everyone has different likings. Um, your chorus now, chorus is going to be at. 0 0.08 hertz um, delay I think this is all the way it's supposed to be you just copy these down this is to be exact this is at uh, 5.0 thousand and then your mix is gonna be at 16 percent you guys just copy these down I think that's uh, the way it comes um, and again guys a lot of times what I do when I'm sound designing I don't really have an idea I just I just jump in here and I start playing with things and I think, okay, this thing does this, so what if I do this with this? And that's just how I make my sounds. So a lot of time, if the things I say are just kind of like, you're kind of just saying and don't really know what you're saying or whatever, it's just because, dude, I just do things. Like, I just know what things do and see how they react with another thing. Um, anyways, and that's honestly what all this is about, you know, like seeing like what crazy shit you can make. Anyways, uh, compressor, you want to throw on that compressor, multi-band, your gain's going to be at 3.2 decibels. Um, Copy these down, these are about the same. I think, yeah, these, this is the same the way it comes. Your mix at 100%. Now, oh, reverb, very important, very important is the reverb because this is what really gives it that hard trap uh, style sound. Um, I left the size at 18 and the mix at 9. And then I put a little EQ on it to make sure uh, whatever low frequencies, like low, low frequencies are there. I think I might have even put another EQ in the post processing, but. Um, I put, yeah, the low cut uh, frequency at 273 hertz. I don't think this is a big, this one's a, that big of a deal. It's not, honestly, it's not even that big of a deal, but I just have it there. Um, and I think, uh, think on, I think we're done here with this. So now, let's jump over to our sub bass, which is actually really, really freaking easy. Um, you're going to want to do uh, another, for those of you that don't know, uh, right click. Insert, insert MIDI, and then uh, you're going to want to go over here to your plugins and uh, insert the serum. Open up the new serum, 
and you're going to want to come to analog sign, or you can go to basic shapes and put a sine wave. More same shit. Um, this is kind of unnecessary. I don't know why I did this, but um, you can honestly just leave it at a at full. But for some reason, I just did this, and then put it at a hundred. It's the same exact thing as just going like that and leaving it. Um, jump over to our effects. You don't want to put uh, distortion. Turn on your distortion and go to uh, diode two right here. Diode two. Want to leave this off and put the drive on seventy percent and the mix on forty one percent, and then it's going to give you that fat distorted sound. If you turn it off, it's like a regular sub. But I, in the post processing, I do have the uh, the uh, the redux of it. That's why you hear that because I like that little. A little like high pitch frequency sound thing. Um, now let's go to the post processing. I just I just realized that I didn't go through the post processing of the other synth, so we'll jump back to that in a in a second. Sorry guys. Um, yeah. So the post processing for this, uh, I put a Redux on here. It's a basic uh, audio effect that um, it comes with. Drop Redux. Um, I put it at 4.32 on the soft down sample. Um, I don't think it's modulating like anywhere important. Yeah, no, it's not. Oh, it is somewhere. What the fuck? I hate that. Off. Oh, it's off here. You guys kind of leave it on or off, it doesn't really matter. Um, I like that, I like that little high pitch sound, like, kind of adds more to the distortion. Anyways, um, let's jump back down here, I don't really think there is, I did much for the, uh, for the post processing of the, uh, hard trap, uh, the hard trap, uh, sound. Let's jump back down here. Yeah, I, did, I, I really didn't do much. Okay, so you want to get a saturator, throw that bad boy in there, put the drive up to 1.71 decibels, and then get a multiband dynamics, drop down the, uh, the low frequencies all the way, leave everything else the same. You just want to make sure you don't have any uh, sub whatsoever in this, because if this has any low end, mixing with this huge fat sub, you might get, be getting too much low frequency, and then you're going to add too much distortion. To the, and then to the distortion that you're already going to have, and it's going to create a, a horrid, disgusting sound that you're not going to want. And then you're going to be like, oh, what the fuck? How do I get rid of this? And then, yeah, because you're not taking out, you're not EQing your shit properly. Anyways, um, you can even get a real EQ8 and put it there, which would probably even be even better, but um, whatevs. Uh, and these two effects here are just uh, other effects that I have earlier in the track that I was playing around with, but they're not necessary as of right now. And then you might be wondering how I made this right here, like shoot like a crazy machine gun. That is the LFO rate, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, LFO rate. I just brought the L I just moved around the LFO rates, honestly. I think I left the uh, yeah I left it on one fourth, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And then um, from there, I just played around with the LFO rates, and I got those uh, different like speeds. Um, that's basically how I did it. Um, I don't, do I have pitch modulations? Oh, I do. Um, I do have a slight, uh, pitch modulation, down pitch, so you guys can hear that. And I really think that's it. That's really about it. Um. Did I add it to every run here? Oh yeah, see look, I don't even know it. I did have a, a EQ8 and uh, I don't have a reverb. I think I, uh, I took it out because I already have a reverb in the serum. But uh, to add to that, uh, to that uh, protection of the, uh, 
of any uh, low frequencies um, crashing with the sub. Um, right there, evidence of what I just said. Um, but yeah, I, I think that uh, that concludes uh, this sound design tutorial. Um, <clears throat> thank you guys for watching. I would appreciate if you guys liked, commented something cool, uh, commented uh, any uh, other uh, sound design things you guys would like to see. Um, subscribe. Thanks for watching.